Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Curse of Strahd player walkthrough guide. Today, I'll be going over Solanka Pass. Alright, Solanka Pass. So, let's jump on into it. Now on this map, there is an environmental effect of extreme cold, which means you have to do a DC 10 con save at the end of every hour, or suffer one level of exhaustion. So dress warm, or have some kind of spell that could help you with that. Okay, so then first we've got the gatehouse. So if characters circumvent the gate by flying or climbing over it, the, the statues on the gatehouse animate and attack. So just walk up to the gate and it will open automatically for one minute then close. Now the statues are petrified vrocks. This will be a hard encounter for any party of four level eights or lower. If you have more than a party of four, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just be careful though, because once per day, there's a chance they could summon a demon to help them. Now, once you're inside, there's the curtain of green flame. So that curtain uh, is kind of in the eastern archway. So if you enter it, you'll take 6d10 damage. Now you can cast a dispel magic to suppress it for one minute, or if you have come across an anti-magic field, you can use that too. Then we got the guard tower on the ground floor. So the only thing in here is there's a door in here that is barred. Now you can force it open if you succeed on a DC 22 athletic check. And then we got the guard tower rooftop. So in here there's another place where your DM might have put a treasure. You'll And if you look for it, you'll have to fight six snow maidens, which have the stats of specters. But it's a pretty easy encounter. They do have a few resistances and immunities. And watch out for their life drain, but other than that, it should be a pretty easy fight. So that's pretty much it for the point of interest on this map. Now, there are two events that your DM might throw in. So when you're crossing the bridge, a rock might spot you and fly down and attack. Again, if you're a party of four level eights, it's going to be hard. But anymore, and it gets easier. He's a big boy. He doesn't have much to him, just a lot of HP, and he has a high attack hit. And of course, he could fly. So be careful of all that. But I think the main goal here is he does have a grapple ability. So your DM might try to grapple a character and just drop him off the bridge. So watch out for that. And then the other event is kind of the same thing. If you have someone with a passive perception of 16, at some point you'll notice a giant goat come rushing at you. He's really easy. He could pretty much be killed in one shot if you spot him. But I think the whole point of him is to catch you off guard and get a surprise attack to knock someone off the mountain and fall 100 feet. Now that's a lot of damage and it could possibly kill someone. So make sure someone has a good passive perception to notice this. All right, so that's it for today's video. Pretty short, you know, we're getting there. We're almost done. So that's it for Solanka Pass. And then come back for the next video when I'll be doing the runes of Burez. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. You know what you got to do. And you know how to do it. Peace out, guys. Yeah.